Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, the invitation for this uh, wonderful uh, workshop. Uh, the work I present uh, is done with uh, Nathan Paldor and Chaim Garfinkel uh, of the EBU University and the Yal Hefet from uh, Tel Aviv University in Israel. Uh, and we'll deal with waves on the beta planes in plural, which means uh, mid-latitude beta plane and equatorial beta planes in the presence of a uh, mean zone of flow, which is uh, not only Doppler shifted uh, speed, but uh, more than that. Uh, I start with a short motivation and then formulation of the equation. Uh, results uh, for two cases, a uniform mean flow and the Gaussian uh, mean flow uh, and some words about uh, instability. So, uh, as we mentioned before, uh, classical wave theory without mean flow of Matsuno is very uh, known for uh, almost uh, 60 years, uh, and known uh, the dispersion relation are very known, and the eigenfunctions, uh, which are uh, Hermit functions. Uh, but when uh, we add the mean flow, even even a uniform mean flow, uh, the direct effect of this is, uh, the, of course, uh, Doppler shifting of, uh, of the speed, but it has uh, the rotation uh, yields uh, another effect, other effects, since uh, if, if the mean flow U is not, is not zero, also the, there is a mean stretching uh, vortice gra uh, gradient, um, and it uh, might cause uh, some differences. And the question, the main question we address is what is the effect of this uh, change uh, in the H bar, in the mean uh, height variation on the wave uh, properties. Uh, and this also about sources of uh, potential uh, vorticity gradients uh, mentioned before, we the familiar uh, beta plane effect, uh, the, the beta effect, uh, the sloping bottom, shear flow, all uh, generate uh, PV gradients. And the question we also ad we address is uh, if we add a geostrophic flow, uh, uniform no, or non-uniform, that associated with the sloping surface, what uh, what is the implications uh, are? So we start with a general formulation for the dynamics of the problem uh, in Cartesian uh, coordinates. It might be on the F plane, mid latitude beta plane, equatorial beta plane. Uh, so we start with the rotating shallow water equations where U and V are the velocities in the zonal and the meridional directions. H is the mean height of the, uh, of the layer, the Coriolis frequency, uh, F, uh, F uh, uh, omega is the rotation frequency, A is the Earth radius, and phi F is uh, some uh, central latitude. Uh, G is the gravitational uh, acceleration, and eta is the deviation of the total uh, height from, uh, from the mean height, uh, capital H. Uh, and when we add a mean flow, a zonal mean flow, uh, and the corresponding uh, height profile we are, uh, of the form, so U is compounded for, by uh, U bar, of, which is, can be a function of Y, and the perturbation U prime, and also uh, the deviation of the height is, uh, is composed of uh, eta bar, which is a function of Y, and, uh, and the perturbation eta, eta prime. Uh, and, and for the zeroth order, uh, U prime and the eta bar, uh, U bar and eta bar should uh, satisfy ge the geostrophy. Uh, and for the perturbation, we assume a zonally propagating wave of this form, um, uh, with Y-dependent amplitude multiplied by a sinusoidal uh, function of, the, uh, of K and the T and uh, where k is the zonal wave number and omega is the frequency, so the phase speed is uh, omega over, over k. Some more detail, little details we define uh, capital V and H bar, which is, which is the total height of the, of the layer. And if we keep only linear terms, we can write this, uh, we can write the, the resulting equation in a matrix form like a eigenvalue problem, a matrix multiplied by a vector equals an eigenvalue multiplied by the same, uh, by the same uh, vector. And this, uh, of course, can be, can be solved uh, numerically by, uh, 
by a method of linear algebra. Uh, if we move, if we want uh, to eliminate you, we can el eliminate you and get two equations of first order uh, for V and eta. And this is the general form. Again, I, uh, we haven't uh, chose any any framework of, uh, regarding uh, F, which is whether it's F plan mid latitude. I will do it in some minutes. But here it's uh, it's general. Uh, and we can see here the this term, uh, uh, which is it's not the origin, but uh, in the classical theory, when we uh, without mean flow, when u bar uh, equals zero and the uh, h bar equal, equals one and the h one uh, equals zero, uh, we derive the Kelvin waves by uh, substituting uh, v equals zero, and we get uh, we get uh, the Kelvin waves uh, c c square equals uh, g h. And here is, there is something uh, similar but different. It, it's similar because the, because the Doppler shifted the, the phase speed the, the, has, has this uh, structure of G multiplied by, the, by H. But in contrast to classical Kelvin waves, this is Y dependent uh, uh, phase speed. Uh, and we, if uh, other than uh, in this case of the Kelvin-like waves, uh, we can uh, continue and eliminate the equation for eta and get this uh, wonderful <laughs> equation, uh, second order equation for V. Uh, and again, here, uh, these are the, the, the terms that appear also without the mean flow uh, in the classical the uh, theories. Uh, and with, uh, when substituting u bar equals zero, we get uh, these classical equations that can be solved uh, for different uh, scenarios. Um, so this is. No, the singularity is for the, the Kelvin like waves. When, when the denominator the equals zero. Which? Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, we we treat them, but not uh, but not in the main uh, route. Uh, uh, so now having this uh, formulation uh, derived, uh, we now uh, go to specific cases. So the first case is uh, for uniform uniform uh, mean flow, uh, which is uh, stretching vorticity, and. Uh, and it's, uh, <clears throat> and it's divided to two parts, mid-latitude beta plane and equatorial beta plane. So in mid-latitude beta plane, and also it's even uh, right for uh, the F plane, uh, we have some scaling. Uh, horizontal length scale is, uh, we solve the problem on a channel of, uh, of width to L. So the horizontal length scale is L, the time is uh, one over uh, F naught, velocity F naught L, and the height is scale on the H. The layer, the layer depth, and the model parameters are now beta. The non-dimensional model parameters are now in beta, and alpha, which is the square of the radius of deformation divided by the half of the channel of the channel width. And now is the important part: if we integrate the geostrophic balance and consider a sort of mass conservation, which means that the the total uh, volume of the of the layer is constant. And then not, not matter if uh, there is a mean flow or not, or there is no mean flow. We get that h bar is not only one, but there is an addition uh, uh, emerged from the uh, presence of the mean flow. 
And since uh, the layer depth should be positive, it gives us a condition about uh, or limitation on the on the on the allowed uh, value of, of the wind of the of the mean flow, uh, as appears uh, as appears here for positive uh, wind or uh, or uh, negative wind. Now, previous uh, works deal with. Uh, with the, the, of course, the, dealt with the addition of uh, mean flow and also considered the HD1, uh, the HDY not, uh, is not zero, but they considered only uh, uh, the, the leading term of the of H bar, which is uh, which is one. Um, uh, so they have, and and by doing so, there is no, they have no limitation on the values uh, of u. The boundary conditions uh, that are no no, no more flow with uh, the channel vo was is that uh, the midernal uh, velocity vanishes at both uh, walls of the of the channel, uh, and some and another definition we we, we define a, a small c as a Doppler shift at the phase speed. If we look even in capital U is the amplitude of the mean flow. Which is uniform now. Yeah. It's similar to the beta plane approximation. You you consider f as f naught, but the f dy is not zero. Is is beta in the uh, in the classical derivation of uh, of waves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here it's in channel. It's not a final channel. Yeah, and quarterly beta plane will be. Uh, and if we look at the, on the F plane, uh, we can uh, make some uh, approximation, analytical approximation, when uh, the parameter u over alpha is uh, very small. So uh, we can define energy and uh, on the F plan beta equals zero, so we get some of uh, Schrodinger equation. Um, sorry. And another dependence is on the value of the wave number K. So if the, if the wave number uh, is small, we can get, uh, we can approximate the equation, the horrific equation I showed uh, some slides uh, before. Can be can be approximated by uh, shredding a uh, equation for uh, uh, without uh, potential, uh, which have uh, the harmonic uh, sorry, which has a harmonic solution and discretization of uh, energy level. And if we deal with a larger k, uh, we can approximate. We can define uh, a new a new variable uh, uh, z and get uh, the area equation, which has also uh, non, uh, non solutions. And uh, uh, here again, we can get uh, the energy level, discretization of the energy level, uh, and due to the relation between E, the energy, and uh, the C, the, the phase speed, we get this cubic, cubic uh, equation for, C, for, uh, for the phase speed, uh, out of which we can get the, uh, the phase speed for uh, Poincaré waves and the, uh, uh, positive and negative Poincaré waves, and uh, and for uh, WASB wave. Yeah, I I showed uh, here the last. Uh, yeah. No.
Yeah. Just a transformer. It's just a, a new a new variable and uh, transformation of the variable using the uh, the e from the second order equation for v. It's defined here. No, the the right hand side is for large wave numbers, so we cannot uh, ignore terms. Uh, Here there are, uh, where are they? I just want to show that there are more uh, K terms. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the right one, there is a Z. In the, in the, in the left uh, column, column uh, there is no y dependent term, so there is no z. The, as I said, there is no potential. So only the constant uh, terms appear. Where? The upper left hand. Oh, well, okay, yeah. Right, it should be Y. Yeah, yeah, it should be Y. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said that uh, the, the, tra the transition from the two equations from here, right, the, the, this is the Kelvin wave, the, the, what I circled by, by red, this is Kelvin waves. And it can make a singularity in the, thing, in the, two, in the second order equation. So if, if it's not, a, if C squared is not GHY, we can get this second order equation without the mean flow, it is, it, without the Kelvin waves, just from Poincare and Rossby waves. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The system is also of uh, order three, of uh, degree three of, uh, of the phase field. It's, it's cubic uh, equation. Uh, so this is the two, the two uh, analytical approximation we can make for uh, both of them for a small u, u over alpha uh, or small Fourier number, uh, and the solution are here either harmonic or uh, uh, airy. And for some uh, numerical uh, solution, these are uh, the lines and the diamonds are uh, numerical solution. Uh, and uh, uh, there are, it can, cannot be dis discerned, but there are also circles and uh, asterisks inside the, that are, uh, <laughs> that uh, fits the uh, approximate uh, solution. So for small u over alpha and for a y channel, which is in our uh, terms, it's a small alpha, there is a great uh, <coughs> uh, agreement between a numerical solu exact solution for the full system for, uh, with the analytical approximation. Uh, for small u over alpha and the large and narrow channel, which is large alpha, there is also a very good agreement for the, for, uh, the Poincaré waves and the Rossby waves. And the, here are also the, uh, the Kelvin waves or, or the Kelvin-like waves. Uh, but if you go to large uh, U over alpha, the, where the approximation, the analytical approximation cannot be obtained, uh, we see some differences uh, from the familiar uh, picture of the dispersion relation. First, the Kelvin waves uh, crosses some of the Poincaré modes. The Poincaré modes do not converge at the large K, but they fan out. Uh, and also there is an asymmetry between the positive and the negative Kelvin-like uh, uh, Kelvin -like, uh, wave. Uh, and if we go to uh, narrow channel, there is uh, more differences. There, uh, the convexity of the, uh, the uh, Poincaré wave uh, changes. And here is, all, again, the comparison with the analytical approximation. Uh, we see that the curves uh, do not match the, this uh, 
asterisk and circles, uh, which are the analytical approximations. We okay, so we'll get, we'll get there. In that study, I just said that we, we, we haven't found instability. Maybe there is, but we haven't found. <laughs> we check. Yeah. No. Why? This, this results are on the EF plane. Uh, here. So there is no beta. beta. And why, why it's limited between minus 1 to 1? So it can be 1 plus u over alpha. So this limitation just uh, uh, verify that, that h is positive, h bar is positive. So H bar can be from zero to two. If you bar over half, it is exactly one, or less than that. Yeah. I will refer to it, I refer to it, to, it's the last part of the delegation. Huh? Okay, so this is for the dispersion relation and the changes that appears due to this change of, uh, of you. Well, which is on, not only a Doppler shifting, but more than this. There are more uh, changes. If you look at the eigenfunction, the associated eigenfunction, even for u over alpha, which is smaller than, uh, much smaller than one, we saw that uh, the, the eigenvalues are very similar to the approximate uh, analytical approximation, but here we see that the eigenfunctions uh, depends on the value of k. So in the left side, we see that uh, for small, smaller value of k, the eigenfunction for V, the black line, is uh, quite uh, harmonic, but, but if we large, uh, enlarge the value of K to, to be 10, then the maximum of the, of the V eigenfunction is not concentrated in the center, but it's uh, tilted to, uh, to the left, and it's, it's more similar to the area function. And if you look at the eigenfunction of the anti-Kelvin wave, so for small K, the green line, which is the decay rate the, for eta, is near the wall, and if we increase the, uh, the value of uh, k, uh, also here the eigenfunction changes its uh, properties. So this was the case of the mid-latitude uh, uniform flow, mean flow and mean on mid-latitudes. Uh, the result I show it's uh, on the F plane, in the beta plane, it's even more, uh, more uh, changes. Now I want to look uh, on the equatorial beta plane, channel on the equatorial beta plane, and uh, there is a similar derivation, uh, uh, scaling a little bit to the change of the scaling, uh, again integration uh, of the geostrophic balance to get uh, this uh, form of, uh, of H, and the functional form of this function is parabolic, so uh, in order, again, to verify that H is positive, we must uh, impose a channel, uh, otherwise uh, it can go to infinity, uh, to minus infinity for a positive uh, U bar, and again, we have this uh, limitation uh, on, the value, uh, on the value of U. Uh, and boundary condition are, uh, again, uh, no mean flow, in, uh, no normal flow at the channel walls, and uh, the, again, the Doppler shifted, uh, we look for the uh, Doppler shifted uh, phase speed. 
analytical solution uh, we compared with Matsuno solution when there is no mean, uh, mean flow. Again, we get a shredding regression, and here uh, the approximation differs uh, between large alpha or narrow channel and the uh, wide channel. For, again, here it should be uh, all, all places, not copy paste. Again, <laughs> again it should be Y, the, uh, y here and Y here. Uh, for large alpha, uh, we can neglect uh, the y-dependent terms and get a harmonic solution. And uh, if uh, and for a small alpha wide channel, we get Matsuno solution, uh, which are a Hermit function and the uh, and uh, associated uh, discretization of the energy level. And again, we get the cubic uh, relation between energy. And the phase pin and get uh, and can can get the approximate uh, expression for the phase speed of uh, Rossby and the Poincaré waves. And if you look uh, at numerical solutions, so for small u over alpha, the circles are uh, the analytical uh, approximation without a mean flow, and it fit. Uh, it, sorry, it fit. Uh, It fits very well for small, uh, uh, for small uh, uh, mode number and numbers, uh, the numerical and then the analytical solution. We see, you, see, you can see that uh, for higher modes, for larger n, there, uh, there is no such uh, agreement. Here again, there are uh, the Kelvin waves, which are quite symmetric. Uh, small u over alpha, but uh, narrow channel, also, there is a, a good agreement between the harmonic solution and the, here it's even better, harmonic solution and the numerical solution. The previous one was Matsuno's uh, Hermit solution. But if uh, U over alpha is large, then again, we see a new, new properties. Again, the Kelvin wave crosses the, uh, uh, the Poincaré wave, uh, curves. There is no symmetry between uh, positive and negative uh, Kelvin waves. And uh, I think the most uh, important thing is this. And of course, there is no uh, agreement between the circles, which is the analytical approximation, and the curves. And, and the, uh, what is interesting here is the coalescence, or al almost coalescence of modes uh, in pairs, which means for uh, two, two Rossby waves can uh, here and here and here. Uh, become become uh, almost one, and for larger k, also these two co uh, coalesces to be to be another one, and also this uh, happens for the uh, Poincaré modes, uh, and it happens in both uh, small uh, narrow, wide channel and uh, and the uh, narrow channel. This coalescence of uh, of modes. Uh, here it is example, I didn't, I say nothing about the values of parameter I chose here, but uh, here are some, uh, there is a, a, a bit, a bit rariness uh, in choosing them just uh, uh, to fit a small u over alpha and large u over alpha. If you look uh, for realistic parameters, uh, so the value of u is about 18 meter per second, and alpha is about uh, fourth, one over four uh, come from here. Uh, typical value of uh, phase speed, uh, 24, uh, 25 uh, meter per, cent, uh, per second, and the, the channel width is about uh, 300 km, 3,000 kilometers. So the results uh, looks like this. And here again, the curve is our the numerical solution for the full system compared with the approximation, and we see that there is no good approximation here is for the n equals zero and the n equals one uh, modes. Here also the eigenfunctions, here uh, for k equal, sorry, k equals five. Uh, the, Hermit, the Hermit solution looks like this. This is the VI function eta, and this is contour of, uh, of eta and the errors of uh, the velocities. And the exact solution, the, I mean, the full sol uh, solution for this case, we see it's not, it's neither harmonic, neither uh, hermit. And also, if we change the, the value of, uh, of the mean flow, so for smaller, uh, weaker wind, 
it's uh, much uh, was, uh, similar to the Hermit function, but if we uh, increase the, uh, the amplitude of the uh, mean flow, uh, the eigenfunction differ, uh, uh, differs uh, significantly from the, uh, from the, classical, uh, the classical solution. So in the case in the case of uniform mean flow, we see that the rotation uh, put limitation on the value on the range of uh, mean rate that, that allowed due to the uh, requirement that uh, h bar should be positive. Uh, we see differences in the dispersion relation for large uh, for large uh, uh, value of the mean flow, and. Uh, as, we, as I said, we found there is no instability, even though there are crossing of, uh, of modes. Now, if you go to a non-uniform mean flow, and we chose, for example, the Gaussian, Gaussian jet, uh, where there is a shear velocity, uh, we say, again, uh, we, we do a similar analysis. Mm -hmm. Shear vorticity, yeah, shear vorticity. Uh, uh, so we, we here we, we use the scaling of uh, exact scaling of Matsuno, so the problem is a parameter uh, parameter free. Only we have the parameter of the mean flow itself, which is its amplitude, sorry, its amplitude u and uh, its width uh, sigma. Uh, and again, we integrate the the geostrophic balance and get a, a expression for h. Uh, here is the, the limitation. I think it's more, less significant since U is most of the time U is uh, positive. Uh, and here we look uh, in contrast to the previous cases. Here we, do, we deal with uh, infinite domain, so the boundary, the boundary condition is not uh, V equals zero, but the relation between uh, the value of eta and uh, and V. And here. If we, when we solve this, uh, the, this equa the equation uh, with this uh, mean flow profile, we get instability, we get a growth rate that depends, of course, of, of the, uh, on the value of the amplitude and, sorry, and on uh, the value of, uh, of sigma. The, uh, so we see for us, uh, here, the, the amplitude is about uh, 10 meters per second, and sigma for the red uh, curves, it's uh, about uh, 400 kilometers. And if we, uh, if we increase, uh, as we increase sigma, we see that the instability disappear. And here it's a map on the relation between the, the parameter values and the instability. We see that uh, for all, Values of u allowed values of uh, u. There is instability, but uh, it's uh, limited by the value by, by the uh, by the value of or by the width of the mean for, of the Gaussian, which means when it uh, very width wide, uh, it's become uh, similar, uh, almost uh, uniform. Okay, uh, so uh, regarding to this instability, why in the in the case of uh, uniform mean flow, uh, we have instability and uh, we don't have instability. And in the case of uh, y dependent mean flow, there, in, there is instability. So if we look at uh, the framework of uh, PV, so we define the uh, potential vorticity and the mean PV uh, uh, is, is defined uh, like this. Differentiation with uh, respect to y gave us uh, this expression, this expression, and as we know from classical theory, uh, in order to have instability, the q dy uh, must change the uh, must change a sign, and uh, and for u u bar which is constant, we say that the expression for the the q dy it's this. So uh, for positive u uh, this this expression always po is always positive, so no instability is expected uh, to appear. Yeah, 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 Bert. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about working instability. Uh,
Here are some, uh, here are some plots of, uh, of different uh, parameter values. The green line is the, is the mean flow. It, it, uh, it's the mean flow, the Gaussian mean, mean flow. Uh, the, blue, the blue one is Q bar Y, and the orange line is the Q bar dy. So we see here for these uh, parameters that the Q bar changes its sign. Here it change, also changes. Uh, here also, and here there are two cases for two sigmas. Uh, sigma of uh, point, uh, 0.36, uh, there is a change of sign of uh, the Q bar dy, but uh, for larger uh, sigma of uh, point, uh, 0.38, which is the, the gray line here, there is no uh, zero crossing of uh, the expression, so the, this condition is not, uh, is not satisfied. Another a uh, way to, to analyze this is to, to have an uh, energy, energy integral. So if we go back again to the, to the rotating shallow water regression and multiply the momentum equation by H bar U or V and the continuity equation by G eta, we get, uh, we get uh, an energy or vertical uh, integrated energy and by some uh, algebra and vector calculus, we can get uh, this, uh, this equation for, uh, for the energy. And if we averaging, integrating this uh, equation with respect to x and, x and y, assuming periodic uh, boundary condition for uh, x and uh, v equals zero at, uh, at uh, the boundaries, we get that the average, uh, we, get, we get this relation between, uh, between the, the time derivative of, e, of the energy uh, and this term, and the time since we assume that the energy is also, also like the, param uh, the variables u, v, and eta uh, behave like uh, y-dependent amplitude multiplied by uh, exponent of, K and, uh, of X and uh, T, we get that, uh, that, that the imaginary part of the phase speed equals a function of the U bar dy. So if the U bar dy equals zero, as in the case of uniform mean flow, also see uh, the imaginary CI also zero, so there the cannot be instability. So it's not only the, we haven't found instability, there, there cannot be instability in the case of uh, uniform mean flow, which means that stretching vorticity itself by itself cannot uh, generate uh, instability, only uh, shear vorticity. Uh, so to summarize, uh, the first thing we, we, do, we did in this uh, work is to, to account for uh, uh, the geostrophy consistently, not considering H bar to be one, but uh, taking into account its uh, variation. And, with, and it uh, yields a limitation on the allowed values of the mean flow. Uh, <clears throat> the eigenvalue equations, uh, not with the approximation is different from the Schrodinger equation or Sturm-Liouville problem, but even though the, some of the properties of Sturm-Liouville problems are uh, uh, conserved as a discretization of modes and uh, uh, um, another thing that's in the for the for the uh, as I started the sloping uh, surface is not a mirror uh, scenario of a sloping button and the the, the changes are more than uh, Doppler shifting and uh, as I said uh, just said shear vorticity can generate instability while while uh, uniform while uh, stretching vorticity cannot. Thank you very much and this work. Uh, most of uh, two, the first two parts of the work I uh, have already published in uh, QJ and fluid, uh, physics of fluid, and the last part will be published, uh, we'll, we hope, uh, soon. Thank you.